Hi all, welcome to Panchaki Land. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. In this video, we are going to see how to recognize a pattern of an image. So the basic application of this is to recognize an image itself in a simple way. So throughout this video, what we will be learning means we will be learning what is image pattern recognition and how it is being implemented inside the MATLAB, how to train and how to segregate into the classes one by one. Uh, it may be like an old kind of method or for beginners, this will be the best method for recognizing a particular kind of image as input. So now if we go for the image pattern recognition, whenever we are working on to the pattern means everyone knows what is a pattern. There are patterns for many things like let it be our uh, fingerprint, let it be our iris, let it be our palm print. Okay, so there are different different patterns for it. Even our DNA also has some sort of unique pattern over there. So those kind of patterns, we have to analyze it. What is the purpose? Their shape, structure, features, everything will be there. Now, once whenever we are hearing the sound of some vehicles, with that itself, we will be able to identify. So this is a car, this is a lorry, this is a bus, this is a bike. So this is can be said as sound patterns which has been trained into our mind. The same way for visualization also. Whenever we are seeing if you see that symbol of that per, uh, symbol of that uh, respective uh, bike or the logo of the bike, so therefore we'll get to know that whatever the registered into our mind. Let it be the laptop, let it be the color. Everything comes under the pattern. So that visualization, whatever we are seeing, it is a continuous visual. That is for humans. The same way we have to make our respective system to be trained up over there. The purpose of image processing which is leading to the artificial intelligence. So this and all will be comes under the advanced methods inside the image processing and it can be set as the beginner level of artificial intelligence. So these two standards only it is being applied. Whatever the data we are training, it should be able to grasp it and that grasping should be able to recognize as a result. Now within this particular integrations, here we have to follow all that particular basic image processing techniques to collect the data and then whenever we are just segregating the class here we are doing it manual and the advanced version of uh, particular image pattern recognition or whatever the training methods uh, separating into the classes those comes under in the training data set lesson so that we will be seeing in the next video now once when we are working on this we have to know what are all the process we will be following in it. So inside this, if you just see, for each and every data, it has its own pattern. Now, from the basics of image processing, what are all the syllabus we have covered, like edge reduction, segmentation, DLCM, feature extraction. So these kind of different different sets are available. Now, on to the shapes. If you just focus on the shape, each and every shape, uh, it's a unique patterns like the hexagon then square circle and the circle itself we are having uh, two different colors square also we are having two different colors triangle so here if you just go for the circle uh, or the shape based direction means there are four shapes the same thing if you are just going by the color means we have three colors but once when we make it as an application in artificial intelligence you should focus on color as well as the shape so what and all we have to turn train to them means we have to train like what are those colors and what are those shapes so once we train and during the classification we have to mention like what should be the result so that result will be yellow circle dark blue square light blue square so if you have trained the classes definitely you will be able to get it so still it can be said as the machine is like a student and we are the teachers to them. So once if you are training in a proper way, they will be able to classify and provide the output in a same manner. Here inside the test images itself, once the image is getting segregated, whatever we have discussed in phase direction or we can also say for uh, the edge direction somehow. If we upload the image 
how the machine is able to recognize the face only with the help of the pattern in the segmentation if we are providing that segmenting area or the region of interest area then how it is cropping only that part or highlighting that part so that particular process also it is a pattern now most of them if you are just getting into the alphabets numbers like that means for that also they have the unique pattern for three i have just displayed it here likewise we have many characters and many numbers so not many numbers zero to nine itself more than enough so within that we will be able to extract so with this unique patterns there are more applications in ai either we can go with the object reduction or sorry object recognition we can go with optical character recognition so if you want to recognize a character means that characters a particular parameter it should be known for the system for that only ocr it is being applied with the help of a simple packages so in that way only this pattern also we have to train towards the system and what and all the process we will be facing once when we are working on to this data acquisition so what are the data set we have we have to arrange it so here i have the two data set cyst and tumor images of kidney cd scan so now i am just going to segregate uh, that particular cyst and tumor i have already aligned it so that's aligned part i have to train it so for the training as well as the classification here two steps uh, two steps will be having the same functions like the data acquisition that is a common one pre-processing also also common whenever you are training as well as whenever you are uh, classifying for both the pre-processing will be done inside the pre-processing what and all the process can take place contrast background segmentation like that but here we are not uh, using the segmentation but contrast and background it is being applied like the color conversion uh, feature extractions those kind sorry smoothing filtering those kind of applications and inside the feature extraction we are extracting the features of the image whatever we have provided and finally we are able to classify what type of image it is not a type what image it is what is that uh, particular training whichever we have done so that we will be getting it as an end result now let us see the coding part so here i have opened the matlab so this will be a coding part here this is the data set so here i have some around of uh, 2000 images but uh, in this i won't be able to show all the 2000 images training over there so i will show you the data set yeah. so here we can see the numbers so these many data sets in jpj we have so i'm not giving the time for the loading part you won't be able to see the image now it is visible so this type of uh, kidney cyst images only i have taken and this is the tumor one so this is for tumor as well as cyst these two uh, different types only we are going to train for our section here for that we have to follow these three functions one is for training testing and to analyze the feature and statistical value so now let us get this file into our matlab let us start with the feature statistical because that is one of the most important part so inside this feature statistical what is the function means we have to analyze the features uh, in the form of a numerical value so what are all the data we have to collect and should be processed means the image whichever we have provided it should be converted into the double double data type then the image mean value should be found and the image standard value also should be applied so based on this we can apply this statistical data for training as well as testing the so first plc clear uh, that those data will be provided frame and path if you just click on uh, that ui get file if you just run that it will automatically open wherever the data path is available so that path it will be opening and will be converted into string concatenation like path as well as the file name will be combined into a single data now the image will be read and it will be converted into the black and white and from that it comes under the input so we have to provide for which input we have we have to send it so we can provide it in the form of numeral so like a zero and one that is best and after that we have to call the feature statistical from uh, the conversion therefore we have to collect the double data of image mean value and standard value so for that the feature statistical should be applied 
now we have to load the database db.mat so we have to load the db and within that it will be applied for the two variables along with the db over there once uh, the data is being loaded into the db to the database therefore after that it will be saving into db.mat file so the mat file is saved so the same uh, functions try as well as catch so that exceptions only here we have used so most probably no need to go for the catch method always it will be executing inside the try method itself this is what the function inside the training part now therefore the next thing the same clc clear close all so therefore we have uh, applied the training let us see the output for that i'm just running it so first i am taking this so let's start from one here i am going to give the syst as zero class so class zero again i am entering class zero so for this we have to do one by one that is the main problem since there won't be any issue zero we have completed three zero so whatever it comes from that particular uh, file it will be in zero only that we have to be conscious on to training part without knowing if you just uh, take and train it to another means then it will be confusing whenever we are providing the input room so some database has been saved i hope so let us open and see this so from already the previous thing has been updated so here we can see that the entire value of the image that is getting overlapped we can delete and let us try it once again for each and every time we have to apply that or now i am going to apply for uh, four times okay now it is clear let's open and see once again yes now it is perfect so we have to add one more class then only it will get completed advantage is <laughs> all the data will be appended in the same dban file like this we can give how much of our classes we want so now we have added uh, four images over here so here we can see to show that uh, the images uh, it won't change that particular mean value and standard values and all like here it has taken uh, i have just trained uh, two same images so again and again it is getting only for the same images so it's nothing but once whenever it uh, reaches only these two value it will show so for that we have to train everything but for the advanced neural network which we have uh, if we train and the repeated images uh, with uh, comparison also we will be able to get some relativity but here it's not like that if the image is not mentioned as same therefore it won't be recognizing the pattern now let us see for the test part so here clc clear all close all ui get file and within that uh, string concatenation the same process whatever has done for the testing here we have to load the database and from that we uh, training will be done and based on that inside the for loop whatever the image we are applying it will be comparing with the train as well as the test data so from that whatever the value it is being obtained it will be displaying it as data class equal to the respective class as 0 or 1 now let us run it here i am just applying whatever we have trained and i will show you whatever has not trained yes it is detecting as 0 now for the same sister data set whatever i have not trained i am just taking so based on the luck there are chances to change the values or to get an obtain new yeah whatever we have expected now the same part if i am going for the, the other one the class one means so here according to the data whatever we have trained here we have received the output what are the photo or the image which we have not trained if i am giving means the same thing so that's the uh, major issue whatever will be happening inside this image pattern recognition if all the patterns are matched then only it is being applied like our fingerprint iris scanner and all once the scanners if it is able to collect the entire data whatever we are placing then only the unlocking or the authentication so those kind of process will be applied unless until it won't be working in a normal kind of recognition so for that only the advancement of neural network has been introduced
Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.